Hello, my little mobsters. This is Mobus Rex for the Mobus Archives, and we are playing Minecraft 1.10.2 with a bunch of mods. What do you mod pack call that? With a bunch of mods. Yeah. All right. So what we're doing today is getting some decoration going um, for, our, uh, for our inn. We really don't have anything there right now. Ooh, I want, I want crates. I need wood. Do I have wood? Let me just go see. I have dirt. Dirt will work, right? No, probably not. Um, grab this spruce. Spruce is easy enough to come by right now. I'm looking forward to getting to uh, the Iron Age so we can actually start automating some of this stuff. It's just my supplies keep on depleting faster than I think. So if you haven't seen this yet, this is the custom NPCs carpentry bench and this is where most of the stuff from custom NPCs come from um and it has recipe list it's nice that way all right so guns no no it does have some of these uh lamps which I think I might grab well can I afford any this one this black tall lamp and this red tall lamp uh, just got his wood, cobble. Okay, let's see if I can get those materials. Torches. I'm wondering if this wood will count or if it actually needs oak. Let's try that. So, doesn't seem to like spruce wood. It might actually only like, uh... Oh, and it doesn't... Ugh. It doesn't hold the inventory either. All right, gotcha. Let's see about cobble. Cobble, 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 cobble. No cobble. Huh. Let's go get some cobble. I could take it straight out of the walls if I really wanted to. So the inn just needs a little bit more decoration. Um, and this is where I've been grabbing more or less <laughs> everything. We have these supports here. Not really for this intended purpose. But let's uh let's go ahead and grab that. We'll get some red lamps. I guess I really should build a mine of my own. And if I'm to do that, this could be as good a place as any to start it. So let's go ahead and instead of using that. Go here. Private mine. Very small entrance. And stone torch for this one. There we go. We can get four. No, oh, what just happened there? There we go, four. It did take it. That was weird. Uh, the number of items just didn't turn up there. What was... Something's odd is going on. So we're just gonna get a couple spruce crates. Just like that. Maybe three, let's do three. And that's what we're gonna use in our storeroom. Yeah, that number isn't updating quite as well as I want. And there's a piece of cobble right here. Uh, so something I have noticed is if we go down to the couches, the color of the couch is really dependent on um, the type of planks you're using. Uh, so instead of actually using the color of the wool to determine the couch, it's actually determine the colored couch by the, the planks. So spruce is red, oak is black, um, acacia is blue, dark oak is purple. So if we want different colors, we need to find the appropriate planks here. So I'm just gonna go make a couch, maybe a couple couches. There you go. That should be enough for a couple wool couches. Let's just take a look at what these look like. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. So in, in our inn, we'll have a couple of these in the front room. People can relax on if... I was worried. <laughs> it didn't look like this was breaking. There's no breaking texture uh, on these couches just yet. Or if there is, I've broken it some way, shape, or form. What other decorations can we get? All right, I'm going to get a few beds. 
probably should use different color beds, but we'll use that for now. And these are going to be deco craft. Uh, they're most decorative stuff I have. Ooh. Phonograph. Yes, please. I don't even know if that works, but it might. All right, so we have a bunch of decorations here that I'm going to try out. I don't know if all of them will be something we'll use. Oh, and I forgot the tables. Whoops. Um, I don't know if all of them will be something we'll use, but we'll give them a go. And get uh, the inn finished building as well. So that's how the inn is currently looking. It's not a bad job. I just need to get the, that roof up and the rest of the walls up. I think we'll do that first because it doesn't make sense not to. Put this box of decorations down here. And let's grab some material. We do have a fair amount of diorite. I went digging off episode. We have some polished diorite even still. Let's go ahead and complete these walls to the best of our ability. We may need to change things up as we go and we want, anywhere we want windows, we'll have stairs. In fact, I might even want a window right here. Here? Does that line up? No, we want this down one. I think a window would be nice right here. No, I wanted it down one so that we could line up with that window box there. Let me just go ahead. Just like so. And fall. For most of my most of my food has been going into uh, repairing from falling. This build. I'm only doing two high windows up here. So this isn't going to be too bad. So up there. And there we go. Now, the nice thing is this is the back. So it doesn't really make sense to uh, put too many windows here. We can. Um, just to keep it nice and well lit. And may as well stay with the uh, same size as we've got already. Lining that up. Actually, I want that to be one over. Because we mostly are putting the windows uh, at the corners here. Just like that. So that just should be our corner. Get rid of these stairs, which I was just help using to help out with uh, getting up and down from things like that. Now in this corner, I don't know whether we'll make a matching window. What would that look like? Um, down one. Well, just for consistency's sake, it doesn't really hurt at all. And this side is only cut off a little bit by the stairs. All right, so I think what I'll do is on this side, uh, we're just gonna bring everything up to this level. and leave that as lower level there. So all, our, all we'll be concerned about is just bringing everything up to here for the rest of this. And I can't get in under there, though I was trying. And again, nice large windows, just keeping it consistent across the board. It should look nice, or at least simple. Simple is sometimes nice too. Um, here, I want to come out to here, I believe. Yeah. Boom. All right. It is always good once the walls get up. So just do a little bit of walk around the building. On this side, we still have the granite uh, on the bottom. I've mirrored all the windows everywhere. From everywhere to everywhere. And let's see what we have up here. So I decided to put the wall up. I will need to put a wall up there. Because uh, otherwise someone could just climb over. But. Up here. Not bad. Uh, just need some windows. Some window panes. 
fill this with glass. Just like so. Finish off the room. Now, I might keep this as a... Just like a false wall right here. Uh, I might close it off. I haven't quite decided yet. I'll work on that once we start getting uh, furniture up into these rooms. Let's just get the, uh, the glass working first. Just like so. Just those two windows. That has glass. Alright, I think everything with a window now has glass. That's good. It's a good start. Alright, that means I can get rid of the glass. I don't have to carry that on me anymore. I don't have to carry, carry uh, all this. One stack of polished diorite turned into a button, so I'm thinking of just, like, turning that into, um... Just, like, buttons on the doors. Um, maybe... Up here, each door can have a button to it. And I'm not sure I'm going to do the door here, but maybe the button will be right on the side there. And, of course, I am going to have to sort out that wall. Do I have... Enough... Wood? I don't think so. Looks like I have to chop some, down some more of these trees. Um, something about this area is... The slime island above. I've been trying to, uh, tame it a bit by putting a fencing along here. Um, I don't have enough fencing just yet, but that's where all these levels have been coming from. <laughs> I was just trying to keep the slimes in check while I thin the, uh, thin the wood in the area. Alright, just getting that wood, I'm halfway to another level. So, just getting this room. I'm thinking maybe we even turn this into something of a storeroom up here. Uh, just to give us a little bit of extra space. And that we would just need to get a bunch of wood. And... Let's see. Is this the roof? What did I do in the other room? That's... That's the question. Um... What did I do here? That was wholly unnecessary. I must have been using that to stand on something. So one above the window is what we're looking at. Alright. So this room is a nice little extra storage room. That we can use. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oops. Well, stuff like that happens. I'll have to put a door up. I'll have to remember to put a door up there and maybe a ladder on the way up. Let's dark out. Let's sleep so that the mobs don't bother us. I'm looking forward to uh, Iron Age so we could get power up, so we could get powered lights which can prevent mobs from spawning in a nearby radius. Which would be great. Alright. Now since I only really have spruce, that's what I'm going to use for most of my doors. There we go. Nine doors should do. Just have to figure out which side to put the doors on. And just like so, just a few places. Still need to get back up there. This door is going to be a little bit fussy. I think we can live with that. Do I want a door here? Not right now. Like I said, I want to start moving uh, furniture in. But now that we're here... Feel a little bit of automation. There we go. Step on that to get out. That to... I never... I rarely can seem to get into the doors on time when using buttons. What if wooden buttons are slower or something? There we go. Alright, now for the decorations that we started at the beginning. So front room, just a little couple of couches here. I'm even setting it apart from the walls already. Let's move this over one, just so they line up. There we 
go. Now, I'm not sure what this table looks like. I was hoping it'd be smaller. But we work with what we have, not with what we don't. Now, these crates. Hello. Just going to put them in here in the storeroom. Drawers, beds. Let's see what this looks like. These lamps. Mm. Not thrilled with them in this room, although it makes it look kind of cozy. Maybe I'll bring them up to the bedrooms and see. And there we go. Phonograph player. Nice. And of course, the zombie head on the wall. Huh. Little barrel in the corner, and I need to move stuff for furniture out of my inventory. Um, since this is the kitchen, I think we can put... I do need the spice rack chains. Just so that they're not so high in the ceiling. And then can I? There we go. Just needed to uh, get that hung a little bit differently. What is this thing? So it said archive box, which made me immediately grab it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just put that back here. Yeah, file cabinet. Why not? Looks good to me. Hmm, key lime pie. Plated cookies for new guests. Uh, I think I had a book and quill here. Which I think goes on this side. Can I? Please? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Now the candle interferes with a little bit. But I think I can live with that. Nice. Alright, and that about wraps up our kitchen. We have the spice rack. We have some knives. I don't actually like those there. They go. They outside? Probably outside. There we go. That feels better to me. You can use it if the cheese wheel wasn't there. Oh, but the cheese wheel's awesome. A little bit of bacon. Nice. That wraps up the kitchen. And then entrance hall. I think we're good downstairs. That's a matter of guest rooms. This will be fairly simple. Don't want to be have two crowded guest rooms. So it's just going to be simple. Bed. Dresser. I didn't notice the handles were pink. Oh well. Lamp. I'm going to do that everywhere. Bed. Dresser. In here, bed, dresser, and lamp. And I'm going to put another one in this extra room here, sitting room. I'm going to have to find something to do with this room later. Um, just extra decorations, but I think we're fine for now. All right, making sure we don't forget this door. Just to complete everything here. Don't know what I'm going to store up there. In retrospect, it's going to be very cumbersome to get anything up there. Records, I suppose. Uh, and I was thinking... Paintings. A few lovely, lovely paintings here and there about the place. Let's give it a little bit of decoration. And at least one in each of the guest rooms. And one downstairs for good effect. Maybe. Well, let's put it up here. No, not that one. Hopefully for it too wide. There we go. Just so that the uh, 
guests could come and look at the painting closely if they care to. And one last final piece. The inn sign. People know this is an inn. Bonk. Nice. Sleep here for the night. All right, and we have the innkeeper named Cobb taking care of the place. <laughs> All right, this has been Mobius Rex for the Mobius Archives. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, leave us a like, leave us your comments and suggestions, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day and a wonderful night. Bye bye.